Hey, hey, it is Sunday night, so guess what time it is? It must be time for Learning with Lynn. So I'm Lynn Huber. And I'm Richard. And this is Richard, and we are here for your weekly training about your Avon business. So today we're going to talk about follow up with the people you meet and plug them into your system. So let me move some things around here. I am going to... There we go. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen. So now you should be able to see my screen. Be sure to say hi if you're here so we know that you're here. And if you're watching the replay, type replay in the comments so we know that you are here, okay? So um, so today we're talking about um, follow up with the people that you meet and plug them into your system. Hi, Sarah, good to see you. So this is my blog. This is onlinebeautybiz.com and um, if you're brand new, you might want to click on getting started up here, right up here, getting started. It kind of walks you through all the basics, like how to get started with your Avon business, how you get paid, um, how you place your order, all of those things, right? And on the right-hand side, you can sign up to receive our newsletter. We sent um, three emails a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Monday and Wednesday is a new blog post, and Friday is usually an email about um, about our Facebook Live or whatever. So if you um, sign up for this, then you'll get emails about what's going on. And right below that is a search. And so if you ever want to know how to do something, you can search in here, how to place an order, how to follow up, whatever you need, how to find new people. <clears throat> you can search in here. Or we have categories below, right here. Now, if you're on a phone, this whole side, this whole right-hand side is going to be at the bottom of the main page. And so you'd scroll down. There's about six posts here. And then right below that would be that sidebar with the sign up and the search and everything. So um, the post that we're going to look at today is right here. Follow up with the people you meet and plug them into your system. Hi, Karima. Hi, Sherry. Denise, good to see you guys all here. Thanks for being here today. So we are going to talk about follow up with the system you meet, plug them, the people that you meet, and plug them into your system. So, you know, growing your Avon business is really pretty simple. I mean, there's really only actually four main steps. I said five here, but number one, prospect for new customers and recruits. Number two, get a brochure, whether it be paper, paper or digital, doesn't matter. But however, you're going to get a brochure to them, get a brochure to every customer, every campaign. Follow up with every customer, every customer that you gave a brochure to every campaign before you place your order, and you take the order, submit it, and deliver to your customer, or send them to your online store, and then Avon can deliver to your customer. And then it's just rinse and repeat, right? So step number five is just rinse and repeat. That's all you need to do over and over and over again. If you just do those four steps, you will have an incredibly successful Avon business. Hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. So we are. We have been, a couple of weeks ago, we kicked off the Daily 8 system. And when follow consistency, consistently, the Daily 8 plan will help you maintain the consistency required to build a thriving team and an exponentially expanding residual income with your sales, right? And instead of working eight hours a day, 40 hours a week like you would in a job, your goal is to capture eight points a day, five days a week for a total of 40 points per week. So here's the sheet. Print the sheet, or it's right here too. Click here to download the Daily 8 plan, or up there, either one, right? Click on that, and that opens up this PDF that you can print off, and it talks about how you earn the points. And so basically it's saying, you know, you work to get eight points a day, five days a week, which is 40 points a week. Hey, Tina's on. Where's Rick? Rick's out Tina, there. Hi. Tina's there, not Rick. Can't awesome. Can't get her sound up. Well, I hope you get it up. <laughs> Karen. Karen says she thought it was a Zoom meeting, so she has her makeup. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> I can't see you, but you look beautiful. <laughs> so, um, so this is the daily eight plan, and on the next page is where you can track your points. Right. So you get points for prospecting. So if you um, give out brochures and collect contact information from at least three people, you get one point. If you prospect for team members and you and you talk to at least three people and collect their contact information, I'm giving you another point for that for recruiting. So let's say if if you um, 
if you're out giving out brochures and you're asking them if they would um, like to, you know, get like get on your mailing list or if you like, they'd like to receive brochures on a regular basis or whatever, and you get their contact information, while you're talking to them, ask them, have you ever thought about selling Avon? Have you ever, could a couple of thousand dollars um, make a difference in your life right now? Because with the Pathway <laughs> to Premier, literally they can make $3,000 in their first eight campaigns. So, you know, could a couple, two or three thousand dollars make a difference in your life right now? So I'm giving you that opportunity to earn two points if you at least talk to them about recruiting, right? You get their contact information for, for um, if they're interested in selling a one. Um, and then you're going to follow up with those potential customers two to three days after meeting them. Those are the names you just got right here. So um, then you're going to follow up with them. Yeah, if you can see this, Let's see if we can make it just a little bigger. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna follow up with them two to three days after meeting <clears> them, and then we go through our whole system, right? You've now prospected. Number two is you get a brochure to every customer. Number three is you follow up, and um, two or three days before your order goes in, and number four, four, place your order, and then you're gonna sort your orders, deliver to your customers, or maybe they'll order online. So if you um, you get a point for getting your brochures out. You'll get a point if you do your follow-up text to every customer, and that's a one point. That means you're going to contact every customer. It doesn't mean you get a point for every one you do. It just means you're going to do you're going to do the activity right. If you do it the way I teach you to do it, it'll take you less than three minutes. And you know, if you're going to manually do it, it's going to take a lot longer. But you get one point for it. Um, passive prospecting, putting brochures out door to door, various businesses. You know, putting a putting. Um, you know, another passive, passive prospecting, posting, scheduling posts on social media. If you have an event, a show, or a party, or a Facebook party, you get a point. If, if you appoint somebody, I'm giving you one point for, for every recruit. So if you signed up three people in one day, you could get three points for that one. I think that's the only one that you can get more than one point a day for. Um, new recruits, training contacts. Once you brought in your new recruits, once you now are in leadership, you need to train them. You need to get them going and help them get started. So you'll get a point for doing that. Um, and once you're in leadership, you can get a point for doing your leaders, you know, reviewing your leadership reports, maybe doing recognition or coaching, things like that. You get a point for business training. That means Avon U. It means online beauty biz. It means anywhere that you choose to find training on how to sell more products or how to become better at talking to people or how to build your business you know anything that's going to train you to help you be better at it you get a point for that and then another point for personal development because <clears throat> you seriously are only going to earn as much as you um as much as you developed <laughs> as much your personal development determines how much money you make so if you know you just got to become better right can I say something real quick just to interject? You know, Lynn, Lynn's always, you know, get the nuts and bolts out here, which is extremely important. But think of it this way. If, if uh, you know, if, if you have a job and you're looking at Avon to, to replace your income or you're just looking at it to make some side income. But if you work a job 40 hours a week and you only show up 10 hours, you're not going to get paid for 40 hours. You're only going to get paid for 10 hours that you work. Plus, your boss is probably going to fire you. The beauty, the beauty about Avon is that is that you can work it whatever you want. If you want to get ten points on here instead of forty, that's fine. You only get paid for the ten points worth of effort that you put into it, but you're not going to get fired. And if you're unhappy with that, double that next week. Do twenty points and and see how your business grows. And then if you really want a big business, work forty hours consistently, 40, 40 points a week, and and you'll consistently have a good business. So that's that's the beauty of it. And Richard's absolutely <clears throat> right. And here's the thing. If you take care of your business every day, every <laughs> week, whatever, you continue to work your business when when you know when you need to work your business, if if you do that, then your business will work for you when when there's times when you can't work as much. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, my mom she passed a year ago, but um, before she passed, there was a lot of time during that time when I was in the hospital with her. I was I was at her house taking care of her. I was doing all these things, but my Avon business continued mostly because I had systems in place. Yeah, the automation just that would just totally you know just stepped up and helped us. Yeah, and so we're going. we're teaching yeah. that we are teaching that, <clears throat> but but at the same time, 
is if you build it, you know, that's the cool thing mm -hmm. about your Avon business is it's residual income, especially the leadership part is residual mm -hmm. because you do the work once and then it continues to pay you, meaning you, you sign up a new rep and that new rep, and you help that new rep get started and you help them become successful. You will continue for as long as that rep stays in, in Avon, you will continue to earn money from that, from you signing her up, right? Because you get a percentage of your entire team sales. Now, it's not a lot of money from each rep. It's tiny, tiny bit. But it's it's the whole um, it's the whole picture, right? I mean, if you're Neil Diamond, my favorite singer, if you're Neil Diamond and you you re, you release a record, um, I know that's old fashioned and it's not like that anymore. But I'm old, so let's just say I'm Neil Diamond and I released a record. Every time that song is played on the radio, or every time that that record is sold, I'm going to earn pennies. It's literally pennies, but it's sold hundreds of millions of times, and so I make tons of dollars, millions mm -hmm. of dollars, right? That's how that works. That's how residual income works. And you have it in your Avon business. But that's kind of going off really more than I wanted to go to today. <laughs> so the real secret to your Avon business success is that there is no secret. It's just a simple plan and dedication and commitment to work the plan consistently. That's what's going to do it. And your daily eight system, this daily eight challenge that I'm giving you will help you work this plan. Now we have an incentive going with this. And so um, I want you to know that you are absolutely a part of this. You do not need to be on my team. If you are in Avon, you can be a part of this incentive. This is just something I do. Um, this is not an Avon thing. This is me and, and I don't have any money for you or any big prizes. It's not like that. But what I am gonna do is, is if you log your weekly numbers and it's right here to be part of this incentive, Click here to log your weekly numbers. This is it. You just log them in here, your email, your name, current campaign, how many points did you earn this week? So what I want you to do is I want you to do this on the weekend. When your week is over, then go in here and log the log your numbers. So how many points did you earn this week? What were your wins this week? What did you accomplish or do well or really proud of? What did you not do so well? And how can you do better next time? And then I added this one. This is new for those of you that have already filled it out. Any tips you found to help grow your business during the social distancing time if you don't have any tips just type no but but i mean i just thought you know we <clears throat> we can collectively might be able to come up with some ideas to actually help each other to get through this whole social distancing time and then i may i i will most likely shout you out in our facebook group or on one of these lives and so i'm asking you is it okay to use your name if you really don't want your name used then tell me no and i won't mention you by name but i am going to recognize you um because that's the whole idea behind this. Mostly it's all about recognition. It's about me praising on you about how good you're doing in your job. And so all in your in your growing your business. So all you need to do is fill this out. Below here is your contact information. I only really need the contact information once, so you don't have to fill it out every time. But I, I do, but please at least fill it out the first time so that I have it because it's hard for me. I might be sending you a card, I might be I, I, who knows? I might send you a logo item from Avon. I might send you something as because you did a super good job. And, um, and so I need your contact information in order to do that. So that's this daily eight um, plan. And that's, and then we have our online beauty biz Facebook group. If you're not in this group, please make sure you join. This is online beauty biz. This has got me and Richard and our car on it. That's how you know you're in the right place. Um, what is this? Oh, Oh, somebody posted that. That's new. Okay. So um, so be in this group because this is where we're going to recognize you. This is where all the fun is going to happen, okay? So that's our daily eight system. So today we're still working on step number one, prospect for new customers and recruits. Um, like I said, the first one, way up at the top here, growing your Avon business, and the five main steps, first one, prospecting for customers and recruits. So last week we talked about how – to find them and how to plug them into in how, and um, you know go out talk to people get their names and all of that but now the the really important thing is you need to follow up and you need to put them into your system and that's what we're going to talk about today so you've gotten their contact information and so you want to follow up with every single new name you get every new contact two to three days after you meet them this is not part of the normal my my orders going in in contact this is a hey I just met you two days ago and I'm following up with you so if you gave him a brochure it's just a quick call or a text something like hey it's Lynn with Avon 
just checking back to see if there's anything I can order for you. That's it. You're not looking to be pushy or convince them. It's just a quick follow-up to check in. And then from then on, you don't have any scheduled follow-ups for them if they're a potential customer, other than now you're going to plug them into the system that we are that we are created, that we have created. Okay. And so it's really important that you have a system in place to manage your customers and your recruits. Now, I use a system and I'm going to teach my system, but I want you to know that you, that doesn't mean you have to use it, right? Mm -hmm. I think that when you see how this all works, I think you'll decide you want to use it, but that's up to you. And so um, keep this in mind, okay? So um, I go out on Monday and I meet three people and I get their contact information, so I have three names. Then I go out again on Tuesday and I do the same thing, so I have three more. Now I have six names. On Wednesday, I go out and I get three more. Now I have nine names. At the end of the week, I have 15 names, right? And then the second week, I'm doing the same thing. Now I have 30 names. And then the third week, I keep going. Now I have 45 names. So you can see how this literally adds up. This can really build your business big if you do it. I'm, I'm serious. It will. But you have to have a way to follow up because – before you place your order, you're going to want to do a, a text reminder that your order's going in. And just for example, are you going to want to text 150 people individually? I know it's just a copy and a paste, but you know, we all have, life gets in the way. And um, how likely is it you're really going to make it through the whole list of 150? Fifty or 200 or whatever it is and so that's why we use systems but I'm going to talk about these systems okay so in order to create your system it's important to know how are you going to take care of these customers how are you going to get a brochure to them every campaign every that's a whole 150 or maybe it might be 300 and maybe I mean if you're growing a big business these could be big numbers so the question is how are you going to get a brochure um, are you going to mail a brochure to them or are you going to personally develop a, I mean, deliver a brochure to them? Um, I know a lot of reps will say, well, I put them in my orders when I deliver them. Okay, but you have 150 customers. Maybe you had 15 or 20 orders. <laughs> you got to make sure now that you figured out who you gave a brochure to and who didn't get one yet because the other 130, you still need a brochure. Right. So I use a system. I use campaign mailer. I mail every brochure. It doesn't matter if they live next door to me. They get it in the mail because then I don't have to go back and think who got a brochure and who didn't. Right. When we deliver the order, we still give them another brochure, even though we mailed it. And we might ask them, hey, why don't you give an, this extra brochure to one of your friends? It's just another way to grow your business. But that's up to you how you want to do that. And then how are you going to do the follow ups? Are you going to text? every customer individually, or are you going to use a program like Project Broadcast? So we use Project Broadcast, and we have we have people set up. Project Broadcast allows you to set up tags, and you can have as many tags as you want, and even a single person can have as many tags as you want to put on them, and then you send your text to everybody with that tag. And so I'll text every, every campaign, hey, my order's going in, and I'll send it to my Avon customer list, and it goes out to everybody. It's, it goes out like a group. I'm sending it like a group, but it doesn't. It goes out individually. And so when they respond, they respond to you, not to the whole group. And that's really important because you do not want to put your customers in a group. Because if you have 100 customers in there and, um, and you send it as a group to 100 customers, um, probably it won't go if you had that big of a number. But, but um, even if it did, when, when your customers start responding, can you see how your customers are going to get really upset? <laughs> because they don't want to deal with that, right? All of a sudden, you got responses coming from all over the place. So don't ever don't re remember that. It has to be done individually, either you doing it manually or you using a group, um, a, you know, a tool like Project Broadcast. So, and then, um, then you need to determine how you're going to manage all the names that you're getting. So, you know, you got to somehow find a way to keep track of all these people, right? If you're going to get brochures to every person, every campaign, how are you going to know who those people are? Um, I suggest you keep a list of some sort so that you have them all in one place. So you can create an Excel spreadsheet. Um, if you really wanted to, you could handwrite them in a notebook, I suppose. I mean, I know that that's how we used to do it, right? And so if you're a paper and pen person, you could write a list in a notebook. But it kind of needs to be a, a growing list. It ebbs and flows. So you're going to cross people off at times. You're going to add people, right? You're going to add people every day, I hope. <laughs> so it's got to be something that ebbs and flows. Um, so you have to have a list. Now, um, 
I use, because I have this system and I use campaign mailer, my list is pretty much in campaign mailer. That's what I keep my, my main list is in campaign mailer. And I'm going to get to that. So um, now that you have a list, wherever it is, you can then add that person to your address book in, um, in Avon. I'm not going to pull mine up because my address book has my customers in it, but here is a, a, what it would look like. So this is in Avon now in your customer address book. And so I added this customer, Mary, test customer, email, um, phone number, address, right? And then you could save that customer. And then, so, okay, so you came home, you got her contact information, you came home, you, um, you're you gonna add her to all your list. If, you have a, if you're keeping a list, you're gonna add her to that list. Um, and then you're gonna go in and you're gonna set her up in here in your um, Avon Now contact manager. And then you're gonna create a note, you know, hey, met at Starbucks, gave brochure. I did make a mistake, I put a date in there and I guess you don't need to because Avon automatically puts the date. So right here in this empty space, I typed in met at Starbucks, gave brochure, and then click on add note and it will move it to the bottom. So now you've made a note of the contact you had with her. And then you're gonna schedule a follow up because in two days, you're going to follow up with her because two to three days to because now you're going to see if there's anything she wanted. So um, a good way to schedule them. I don't think you can schedule follow ups in your customer address book. So Google Calendar is a good way to do that. So um, this is not my calendar. My calendar is full, <laughs> but this is a, another Google account I have. And I just I put some things in here um, to get ready for tonight. Like um, I schedule my campaign mailer. Um, on Thursdays, so every other Thursday, every two weeks. Um, I schedule my order reminders. They go out for Monday morning, and that's every two weeks. Um, Avon order is due, right, every two weeks. These are repeating things in my address book. So today is the 12th. I met somebody today. So I'm going to follow up with them two days later, the 14th. So I'm going to click on the 14th, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, um, Follow ups, and I'm just going to save that, and it will just kind of be an, a, a task or whatever at the top. And then um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this. And in the bottom part, in the description, I'm going to say um, text Mary customer follow up after meeting her, whatever. Um, this one task can have a thousand names and it doesn't matter. See, I have that. So then I can have another follow-up that came from a whole different purpose. Call Richard might be ready to sign up, whatever. And so you can have like a whole bunch of texts in here, a whole bunch of um, different notes in here, and then just save it. And that would be your follow-ups. You could end up having a follow-ups every single day of the week and you would just go in and add it. So now, now um, I have another person I met and I need to follow up. So I just go in here and I edit and I go to the bottom and I go, um, text um, Tina. Um, you just say follow up after meeting, whatever, after, after catalog, right? Whatever you want to put. And then, so then when, when the 14th rolls around, I would just click on that follow ups and I would know all the people that I would need to follow up with that day. That's probably the easiest way I know to do that. Um, I actually have a, what's called a CRM. It's a customer relationship manager, but that costs money. So I'm trying to teach you how to do this in a way that will um, make it easy for you. So the, and I, right now I'm just telling you we're setting up systems. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do, right? So that's how you do it. Okay. So now we have the system. So now we have a system. So now I'm going to say, um, I met, I met Karen today and I got her contact information. So I'm going to come home. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put Karen in my campaign mailer. And in campaign mailer, when you log in, I'm not going to log in to mine. I'm sorry, because again, all my customers are in there and this is going to be, this is like live. Anybody can see it, but you go to campaign mailer and you log in and it's like a spreadsheet almost. And you can just add customers and then you can delete customers and you can edit customers. And you can do whatever. And it's just like a whole big spreadsheet. And so as soon as I get home, I'm going to add Karen to campaign mailer. Because I, she, she said she wanted a brochure, so she's now on my brochure list, right? And then I'm going to go to my project broadcast. I'm going to add her. Now, in project broadcast, I have Richard as a, as a person in here. I, I pulled him up so that that way I don't have to worry about you seeing everybody else. But So Richard's in here. 
And look at the tags. I have different tags in here. I have Avon Biz. I have Avon Book, Avon Customer, Avon Team, BC Events. Those are my breast cancer events. New Rep, Sell Avon. So I can have as many tags as I want attached to a single person. So I go in here. I put him in. I add him as a new. I hit this plus sign up here, and I add him as a new customer in here. Um, I put his phone number in. If I have it, I might put his birthday in. If that's totally up to you if you want to do that. And then set a tag in here. So if you gave them a book and they're going to be an Avon customer, then you set a tag Avon customer. You would create your tags over here, right here where it says tags. So you create them. And all of my Avon customer tags are tagged Avon customer. And there's a reason for that. Because when I go to do my reminders, I send it to everybody that has that tag. Okay. So I, I get home. I got home. I added Karen to um, campaign mailer. I added her to project broadcast. Um, I would add her to my Avon contacts and, um, and right here, I would add her to my Avon contacts and then I put a note in how I met her. And, and every single time that I talked to Karen, I would make a note so that I have a, a history of everything we did. Okay, everything we talked about. And the cool thing about this, too, is in your um, Avon address book, if they place an order, you'll be able to see that, too. There's tabs in there where you can see that. So then I go to my calendar, and I'm going to go to my follow-ups here, and I'm going to say, okay, um, text Karen. Um, follow-up after. You'll figure out whatever works for you or how you want to word that. Okay, so she's in there on my follow-ups. So I've got to come home. I've added her to contact, I mean, to campaign mailer. I've added her to project broadcast. I've added her to my Avon contacts, and I added a note in my calendar to follow up with her. Okay? So that's that's what I did. So I added, I, I'm adding them to my system. So Here's a post that I created right here, putting it all together. Oh, also, I, if they don't have, if what they gave me was not a cell phone, if it was a landline, I use a program called Dial My Calls. I record a quick message. Um, Hi, this is Lynn with Avon. Just a quick reminder, my order goes in on Wednesday. If there's anything you want, please let me know by tomorrow. And that goes out on Monday morning. And um, it's a recorded message that actually rings a landline, and they pick up, and they go, hello, and they get my voice recording. Okay, and so so putting it all together, then I automate my follow-ups. So this is my how to automate your follow-ups. So um, I, I talk I talk about dial my calls here, and there's my thirty second message. Hi, this is Lynn, your Avon lady. Just a friendly reminder: my order is going in on Wednesday. If you've already placed an order, thank you very much. If there's anything I can order for you, please let me know by Tuesday evening. If you don't need anything now, no problem. Have a great week. And my phone number. And if you'd rather not receive these messages, please let me know. Thanks for your support. And have a great day. I keep this at thirty seconds. I um and. And in this um, dial my calls, they have a monthly plan, but I work the numbers. And as long as you keep it under 30 seconds, it's one point. And um, so you can just do the pay as you go. There's no reason to buy a monthly plan unless you, you know, I do you put yourself in campaign now? Yes, Karen. Karen, yes, I do. I yes. mail a catalog to myself <coughs> every campaign because then I know when, when, when all my customers have gotten it. Also, we know if it's out or not. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, always yeah. yeah. We always we always get it. We've had one occasion where something happened and it came like weeks later. That's like for the holidays, but that just gives us a time frame to know when the customers have it. Yeah. Okay. So for texting, I use this company called Project Broadcast, and I told you about that. And this is my text message. This is Lynn with Avon. Quick reminder: my campaign, whatever order goes in on Wednesday. If I can order anything for you, please let me know by tomorrow. Have a great day. And um. There, this is a different service, Text Magic. I used to use it, but um, I get much better delivery rates with Project Broadcast. And it's really funny, but sometimes our customers won't respond. Like Richard's out delivering orders, and they won't respond to his text. But if he goes into Project Broadcast <laughs> yeah. and texts them, they they respond right away. So the the deliverability is amazing with Project Broadcast. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so so um. So that's putting it all together, okay? So we've um, added them to your Avon Now address book. Um, if you gave them a brochure, add them to your Avon Now address book. Make a note about how you met, what you talked about, et cetera. Schedule a tax in your in your calendar for two to three days later. And I, I spelled it out. Add them to campaign mailer. Add them to project broadcast. 
and then or or dial my calls if it's a landline, right? And because I use this system, I don't create a spreadsheet um, of all my potential customers. Instead, I use the list on Campaign Mailer because they're all right there. And if I um, ever remove somebody, I make a note. Um, in you know, of course, in my well, I would I would make a note in my Avon Now contact manager, um, and then I might even make a note to add them back in in a month or so. I mean, you just have to play play with this, right? You have to figure out what you want to do. But I update these lists every single day. So I gone out and I went and I got um, names. However, I got them. You know, we talked last week about how to get names, and you can do it on Facebook. You can do it outside. You know, go out to shopping. You can go stand in front of a store. You can meet people in the store. You can. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can meet people. Um, you can, like I said, you can do it on Facebook too. And if you're talking to somebody in Facebook, and um, maybe join some groups that you have interest in. So let's just say you love to crochet, or you love dogs, or whatever. You you love join groups that are about that and then get in there and just engage with people just engage with them because it's something you love already and then you're going to start to meet people and then you can take it off of the group and into a private message and then you can ask them can I send you a link to my digital brochure and if they say yes that's when you get the contact right because now you've given them the brochure and now you're going to always give them a brochure you're going to you're going to add them to all of your follow-ups Right. So um, if if so, I get home, I do this daily. So if I for some reason decide I'm not going to take somebody off of campaign mailer, I don't know. I um, unfortunately had a lot of customers pass lately. This COVID thing is pretty gnarly. But, um, you know, I've gotten calls that, hey, um, my mom died, um, you know, whatever. And then I go and I take them off of campaign mailer and then I would make that note in my um, contact manager. Right. So that just makes things so easy because when you go to do your follow-ups at the end of the campaign, you're sending a message out, hey, my order's going in on Wednesday, whatever. Um, is, if there's anything you want, let me know by tomorrow. It's just like literally two minutes. You can even create templates in your project broadcast that you can just go in and edit the date and the, and the um, campaign number. So it's like so easy. But if you're gonna choose to do these manually rather than automate them, all of this still needs to happen. You still need all these steps to grow your business. And so you're going to need a list of names for each task so that you can go through the task as you drop off brochures and do your follow-ups. So whether it be on Excel and you print it off or whether you have a physical a handwritten list, whatever, you're going to need a list to say, okay, I'm getting a book out to everybody. Check, check, check. And, and you're delivering your brochures. Or you're going to need a list of, okay, I'm doing my follow-ups. Check, check, check. And, you know, I'm going to be really honest with you. If you have 150 people on your list or more, how likely is it that you're seriously going to sit there and, and actually text 150 people? <laughs> I'm just trying to be realistic. Yeah. I, I have bugs. <laughs> Sorry. It's like something. I don't know what's going on, but we have these bugs. You box elder bugs are out. Anyway. Mm. Um, so, so the key is, is if you're going to do it, great. If you're going to do it and you're going to make, you're going to stick to it, you're going to make it happen, great. Then do it manually. But you know, the cost of, even if you don't mail the brochures, even if you just do the text messages through Project Broadcast, it's like two cents a text or something like that. And it is so worth it to save all the time that it's going to take you to manually do it. Right? So anyway, but you got to do it, right? And, and I said this already, don't send a group text, you know, be mm -hmm. sure if you're going to manually yeah. do it, be sure to text them individually. So um, I'm going to back up a little. And we talked about if they are interested maybe in selling Avon. Okay, if they are a potential recruit, we have a system right here. So right here was a link, follow the system we have here. And this is how to follow up, work, and convert your Avon prospect leads. So there's lots of ways you can get these leads, a booth or a table, maybe a breast cancer table. Maybe you go out and you meet people. However it is, you're going to get leads, and you're going to ask them, hey, could a couple of thousand dollars help you right now? You know, um, did you know you can sign up to sell Avon for free? And you can literally make $3,000 in your first eight campaigns, right? So you're going to want to um, plug them into your recruiting pipeline. This 
video goes more into this post and talks about it. And so um, I actually use four methods of communication. Um, if it's a lead I get from somewhere, like they came through my website or I didn't talk to them before, I will call them as soon as I get that lead. But if it's somebody you met personally, you probably don't need to call them. You already talked to them, right? So I contact them as soon as possible within minutes. I'm talking about if the lead comes to me somehow, like I, I didn't talk to them. But then I, I call them, I text them, I email them, and I send postcard series. So I use send out cards. There's also Pixingo that you can use, um, or you can buy cards from Vistaprint, Town and Country. Well, Town and Country's gone, so I better clean that off. <laughs> but anyway, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can make your own. It doesn't matter. Um, and, or you know, I just think that sending cards is just another way to reach out to somebody but you're going to need to keep track of your leads i use a contact a contact relationship manager called big contacts it's here like i said this is not free so you can do this the way i showed you with the google calendar create a follow-up um task and you can just add the people that you need to do and so you know um with the with the recruits this is a different follow-up this isn't a once a campaign thing. So what you do is the first thing you call them if you haven't already. Then, so if I, if I had already talked to them or whatever, then when I get home, I'm gonna immediately send a text. And I use a shuffle card. And right here's a link to my virtual business card. And if you sign up for shuffle, if you, um, so it says right here, design your own card now. If you, if you want, if you sign up for shuffle, it gives you 10 cards and it tells you it's $10 a month. But if you change the quantity to one card, it's free. So, I mean, you can do this for free. So it has, um, what's really cool, it's like a business card, and this is on their phone. They can call, they can send me a text, they can email me. It's a little bit, and then it has a link, buy Avon, our story, start your own Avon business. This is just what my card looks like. And so um, what I do is my, um, my message is, hi, whatever their name is. This is Lynn with Avon. You requested information about an Avon business or want to buy products. I'm here to help you. Here's my business card with all the links you need with my shuffle link. Now, if you don't want to get shuffled, that's fine. You could say, hey, you requested information about an Avon business, um, and you could send them the link to your online store. Um, actually, if you go to your online store, let me go there really quick. So um, they could go to your online store. This is my store. They could click on become a representative, but you could click on this. And here's this link. It's this big long link at the top. That's what you would give them maybe. You know, you requested information, click here, and you give them that whole big long link up at the top. And Avon has a really nice page here. You know, stuck at home, start earning money right from your couch, you know, products, award-winning products, this is how much you can make. So they have a really nice page here for you that you could send them to. Or you can send them to your online store and say, um, click on Become a Representative, right? Either way. So, okay, so then I've, I've texted them and I send them an email mm -hmm. with the subject, their name, thanks for your interest in Avon. And you can download that email here. And then I add them to my send out cards and I send postcards over time. So I have a very specific schedule for if it's a recruit. Okay. So um, right away, immediately they get text number one and email number one. And then um, like two days later, they're going to get text number two. Where is it? Okay. In three days, they're going to get text number two. And then um, a week later, they're going to get email number two, and then a week later, they're going to get text number three, and then a week later, email number three. This is every week. They're alternating. And then I alternate between emails and texts every two weeks, and then I spread it out every three weeks, and then every month. You can download my scripts right here. So this is a Word document. There's also a PDF copy. <clears throat> So here it is. So text number one, text number two, text number three, they're all here. And then down at the bottom, emails, email number one, email number two, and so on. Okay, email number three. When you're all done with all of those, you just start over again. Just skip number one, right? So start over again with number two. Because we've spread these out, so it's really going to go out like 12, three, four, or five months. 
worth of follow-ups. And then if they haven't signed up, then you just go right back to number two and you just start it all over again. And be sure to, to document every contact in your contact manager. And you know, when somebody says they want to sell Avon, I don't quit following up with them until they ask me to or I find out they died or whatever. I mean, I don't don't quit following up with them. Um, sometimes I might get a text back saying wrong number because, you know, over time maybe they got rid of their phone and somebody else got that number. Of course, then I would stop texting them. But my point is I literally, and Tina is on this. She can verify this because she has the same experience. I literally will have somebody sign up three years after I start following up with them. And keep in mind that actually I'm only doing it once a month. Okay, after I've gone through my series, now I'm only texting or emailing them once a month. So if I'm starting over, I finished email number 12, and so I'm going to start over with text number two, but it's every other month. So a month from now, I'll send text number two, and then a month from that, then I'll send email number two, and then a month from then, text number three. So they're only getting contact from me once a month. It's not like I'm bugging them. Okay, but people will sign up when the time is right for them, not when it's right for you. So don't yeah. let it get on you. Don't let it get in your head. Well, if they wanted, if they wanted to sign up, they would have, because it's not true. Yeah, th things change. Life happens. I mean, not many people thought COVID nineteen was going to happen six months ago, and we'd have sixty million people out of a job. Yeah. So you know, things happen, but it's small things too. It could be, you know, the husband got demoted at work, or your your kids need braces, or you want to send them to a private school, or it's just just little life things happen. Or maybe and, you and just got, happen. I want to go wanna, on vacation. Yeah, oh, we want to go yeah. to Italy or whatever. Yeah, you want to yeah. save up money for a nice trip for the family. So thank. Things happen. So this is my scripts for prospects. This is different than customers. This is someone who might be interested in selling Avon. Okay. So that's all spelled out here now, how to follow up. So we, we've set up a system. And if you haven't, let me go down to the bottom of this because we actually talk about that. So putting all together. Okay. If you want a big business, it's important to treat it as such from the beginning. If you only have three names, Sure, it's easy to text those three names, but you're going to keep growing, right? And you and that makes it easy to set up your system now because it doesn't cost very much to text three names through Project Broadcast, right? Um, so if you start it now, it doesn't cost very much to mail three brochures through Campaign Mailer. But and then as you keep growing, as you keep growing, then you can keep adding them to your system, and then you have a system in place. And let me tell you. This system has literally built our business for us when we've been on a cruise ship. We were on a cruise ship for two weeks yeah. to um, Hawaii with there was three couples, three yeah. uh, three couples of us that went on a cruise ship for two weeks to Hawaii from LA. We were like five days across the ocean, five days around the islands, and five days home. And because of these systems, I was able to schedule the brochures to go out. I was able to schedule the the um the text to go out everything and my customers didn't even know we were out of town my mm -hmm. business just continued on it didn't i mean yeah you might have to place your avon order from a ship or you might have to um return a phone call maybe maybe actually it's very rarely mm -hmm. a phone call anymore right mm -hmm. usually they text you because you've texted them hey my order's going in they text you back the order and then i confirm it back with the text so and and when we've done this we've always spent like an hour each day we're on the cruise for two weeks, but we spend an hour each day working our business because we do things like follow up with texts or, or place the Avon order or whatever it is we need to do because that hour a day allows us to have the freedom to live our life the way we want to live all the time. Richard and I don't have jobs. We work our Avon business, and um, and so we put a, an hour a day, even when we're on vacation, makes it so we have that freedom all the time. Let me interject real quick here. There's a lot of stuff that we've said here already, but – Remember, you're just kind of chunking things down. You're, you're breaking it down to small chunks so you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. And, and like you said, in the beginning, you might have three customers or 10 customers. When you first start out, if you start the system with a three or 10 customers, you're putting them in. You're learning how the system works. You're learning what the process is to, to get it into your head so you understand it. And then so when you get to, to 30 and the 300 and the 3,000 customers, you already know what to do. It's not like you're having to figure all this out with 3,000 customers on the first day. Yeah. So you're just chunking it together, just slow but sure. 
It's true. And then I wanted to put at the very bottom of this, um, mm -hmm. as, ties, as time goes by, especially because Richard just yeah. said, you know, 3,000 customers. <laughs> you probably don't want to be mailing 3,000 books to <laughs> Campaign Mailer, right? So as time goes by, you're going to add a lot of names to your list, and you're also going to want to manage your system so that you're not just mailing brochures to people who don't who aren't, aren't customers, mm -hmm. right? So here's a post where I explain how to do that. So basically what I do, and everybody's different, is if they've placed an order with me, they'll continue to get be on my brochure list for four months if they've placed an order. If, they, if I got their contact information and I added them and they didn't place an order yet, I, I give them three months. And then I go through, at the beginning of every month, I go through and I clean out my campaign mailer. Now, when I remove them from Campaign Mailer, if they haven't placed an order, I'll take them off my Campaign Mailer because I can't afford to mail books to everybody, right? And like mm -hmm. Richard said, you could have 3,000 people. That would get expensive. Mm -hmm. So when I take them off my Campaign Mailer, I move them to my Avon book text list. So um, they get the, the text every campaign saying, hey, it's a new brochure. So I don't lose them totally. And then if they place an order, then they'll get back put back on my campaign mailer. So it's just kind of a little bit of, you know, it's kind of an ebb and flow and it's just kind of a process and you'll you'll figure it out as you go. And like Richard said, it's a whole lot easier to figure it out when you when you have a small number of people that you're dealing with so that when it gets bigger, it's already in place. So, what questions do you guys have? Did I did I totally blow you over? I know, you know, it's really not a lot of information, but it is. Um, so it's all spelled that right here in this post and then um, tonight when this video processes I'll put the, pity, the video in this post so that you'll have that too so you can um, see how it goes but we're just following through with this whole um, with the you know daily eight because this daily eight I'm not kidding it can actually give you the freedom that you want whether it be a little bit extra money for a vacation or um, or total freedom of being able to quit your job the daily eight can help you do that and and so and the idea behind why there's so many different things here is because you don't want to only get eight points of getting new customers you need you need to to broaden your business right so you're going to get points for getting customers but you also need to you also need to do training right so maybe that business training might be to watch a facebook live on avon um, usa representatives page or maybe it might be watching a facebook live from scott kramer with the social selling by avon um, personal development i have i do a, i do a facebook live every day usually um, five to ten minutes long most of the time it's personal development not all Sometimes it's about for my customers, for my business, but most of the time it's personal development. And I know a lot of you have been on that. And um, and so that could be your personal development because I talk about, that's what I talk about on my Facebook lives. Or you could, you know, get a calendar, personal development calendar, or you can find a website. And, and um, there's all different ways to do your personal development. So okay. Sherry is asking, what is the cost of using the mailer system? So let's go to the campaign mailer. And by the way, if you sign up for this, when you sign up, um, it will ask who referred you. Please say me. Um, just give them my name because they sometimes, there's no, there, I don't get anything for it. There's not any kind of um, affiliate program or anything. But sometimes they, um, like right here, see, summer referral promo. So if um, if you get draw, you know, they'll put all the people that referred people in and maybe they might be in a drawing for an Amazon gift card whatever. So there's different things. So here's the pricing. Click on pricing. Now the price of the brochures, the cost of mailing them, it depends on how many you do. Now let me tell you first off though, if you take an Avon brochure and you put it in an envelope and you um, and you go to the post office, it's going to cost you over $2 to mail it. Probably about two fifty right now. Just to tell the you. The thicker the brochure, the more it costs. So about so $2.50. You, so you um, have to pay for the brochure, you buy it from Avon, and then you put it in an envelope and you pay the post office $250. Guess what? With campaign mail, you can mail one brochure and it's only $1.74. And that, that includes, includes yeah. that includes the brochure. Yeah. They provide the brochure, right? So um, one to nine is $1.74, 10 to 29 is $1.64, 30 to 49 is $1.54. The cheapest is down to $1.24. This is where I'm at most of the time. Sometimes I'm in this 100 to 199, 200. Mostly I'm in the 200, so I'm paying $1.24. They also have other, you can like 
if you wanted to, you could put the campaign flyers in there, um, or you can put samples in there. That gets expensive, though. So mm -hmm. I, I've looked at their pricing, and to me, it's really expensive to put samples in. Of course, I'm mailing 200 brochures. So um, that's the pricing. And then, but one thing you need to know is it's bulk mail. So Richard and I used to do our own bulk mail before Campaign Mueller was around. And so we would literally label the brochures. We would seal them. We would get them all ready. You have to sort them out um, by zip code, and you have to bundle them up a certain way for the post office. <laughs> and, but the thing is, bulk mail gets a cheaper rate because you do all of that stuff for the post office, so they don't have to do it. But they also is not a high priority. It's not first-class mail, so it takes longer for them to get there. And so I have found that the ones from Campaign Mail are take about two weeks. They ship out of Texas. But here's the schedule up here. So you click on the schedule and it says they have an A mailer, B, C, D, E, F. So you can choose where you want to be. Like the earliest is, is the A mailer. Um, I use the C mailer. That works for me. <clears throat> and it usually gets the brochures the week before the campaign starts in that middle of the week mm -hmm. before the campaign starts. Um, but there's all here and it tells you. So like right now, this is July, what's today? July 12th. 12th. So like if you wanted to do here, the earliest, if you wanted to do the C-mailer, the earliest you could do it would be on July 16th, which is campaign 18. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have to plan ahead. You can't like mail out a book that's already already current or past, right? You have to plan ahead. So, hope that helps you, Sherry. Yeah, she she manages down below too. And then Krema says, so yeah. if I completed a customer orders on Saturday for them to, to pick up, when should I call with a follow-up? If you took a customer's order, I'm confused about what you're asking me because, well, you would um, have for them to pick up. That's different because your follow-up is to remind them that you're going to place an order and that they need to give you their orders before you place your order. Um, if you take their order on a Saturday and you place it, I don't know when you're going to place it, say you placed it on Saturday, depends on how long it takes for your order to get to you from Avon. And so basically we don't follow up though with those. Those orders, when, when they come in, from Avon, we receive them, we sort them, we bag them, and then we immediately call the customer and say, I've got your order. So that's different. I think, I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, but just to give you an idea, we place our order on Wednesday, the first time you can order in the campaign. We place it on Wednesday. We don't get it usually until most of the time now, Wednesday or Thursday even of the following week. So I, I tell everybody when, when they place their order that, you know, today's, you know, whatever the day is, I'll say I'll be, I'll be, uh, the order will probably be in on Friday, the whatever date it is, a week and a, a half week after and then nine days in. later. And I, and I say, as soon as the order comes in, I'll give you a call and we'll link up to get the order to you. So that so. depends on where you live. Yes. But in Utah, it takes a full week, sometimes yeah. a week and a day for us to get our order. So yeah. I play, we place our order on Wednesday. Most of the time, we don't receive it till Thursday. And there have been sometimes we didn't get it till Friday, a week later. So we promise, we tell the customers... Our order will probably be in, and we give them the date of the Friday a week later. Mm -hmm. It's usually what we tell them. Okay. okay and then Sherry says, yeah. Sherry says I paid one time three fifty to send one book. There you go. So this is cheap. Yeah. It is. It actually yeah. is. I really think their prices are reasonable, yes. but it's because they're bulk mailing for all kind of reps all over the country, and so they're able to get a good price, and so they're passing it on to us. And they're still able to make some of their money, right? Yeah. It's, it not only saves you money, <clears throat> but mainly it saves you time and it's consistent. You know the customers got the book every single time because they can't order if they don't get a book. Look at that, Sherry. Yeah. You actually could send a brochure with a I Live Pro sample in it for less than you mailed your own brochure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's cheap. Yeah. Okay, anybody else have any questions? I just wanted to, to comment on one thing. She, Lynn talked about, you know, uh, using using Google or whatever method to, to keep notes on not only your your the people that are interested in signing up to sell Avon but also your customers. To me, this is really golden. I have a pretty good memory, and and I do most of the deliveries and I see most of the customers. And and That's this right here. Yeah, but but uh, it, it's mm -hmm. this is. This is the personal part of the business that that will 
make your customers so loyal to you. Uh, when I go out and deliver to a customer, I pretty much know who it is I'm delivering to and, and things about them. If I don't remember something, I'll go in and I'll look up their name real quick just to refresh my memory and all the notes I have. And and when I'm out and I'm delivering, like this last time, um, I had a lady I delivered an order to, and sadly, she's going to have to have eye surgery tomorrow. Um, I, I, I just I keep a pad of paper in my car when I'm making deliveries and I made a note and and I'm going to send her a card and, and a get well card because she's going to have she's unfortunately she's got cancer in her eyes and have to have her eye removed and which is which is horrible and, and I commiserated with her on it and, and she was really thankful but I'll send her a card but it's just little things too it's like if a customer says something you deliver the order and i say well i always put some kind of a sample or 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 a surprise you know gift in there and they'll mention something say, oh wow you know i really that i just saw in the book you guys carry the belief cream uh, is there any way i can get a sample i says I'll, I'll get one to you and i'll either make a note so i can get it in the next order when they deliver or i will put a sample and and if i'm in the, in their neighborhood when i'm out, out running around i'll drop off a sample to them of that belief so you you want to just you want to do things like that because uh, customers just go gaga over that you, you you'll you'll see them they won't get too excited but boy you'll see their eyebrows raise every time you you say something or do something or you'll remember something that happened the last time saying oh hey there's this one lady that she had um she she had her 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 seventy uh, fifth wedding anniversary with her husband, and they made cartoon cutouts, <laughs> and they put them on their lawn, and they got it right up in the in the in the in the uh, the, lo the local radio station. And when I, when I when I uh, went when when I went to deliver her order, I said, "Oh, hey, you're that famous lady." It's just little things like that, and and they people just love that. They eat that stuff up because they, they it's it's a personal business, and you need to make it personal. On the same note, we had a customer um, that actually was a huge customer. She was ordering one hundred and fifty dollars oh. a campaign. Yeah. Sometimes hundred to hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a campaign, and with this whole COVID thing, she lost her job, and she had lots of money. She had a big paying job, right? And um, she went into a real depression and, and completely stopped spending because now she's freaked out. What am I going to do now? Because well, I don't have a job, so, yeah. right? Um, I mean, you know, she lost, like I said, it was a big job, it was a high paying job. And um, so we, we are, of course, going to take care of her because we want her back when she gets another job or when she gets her job back and we love her. And so we would take things to her. We would send her cards or I took masks. Richard would take masks to her, like I made a mask, or then we got some of the Avon masks and, and, and then some of the hand gels, the um, antibacterial gels. And we'd make little care packages and just leave them on her door. And... You know what? That tells her that we care about her, whether we get an order from her or not. Because we have not gotten an order from her in four months. Yeah. You know, so she knows that we care about her, and and um and every single time she sends, she texts me and says, "Thank you so much." You know, yeah, that's so it's just thing. doing those things, yeah. right? That take yeah. care of it's it's being customers. sincere about it. It's the main thing too. You know, we're not phony about it. We really do care, but it's just it's just cool. The notes are really important because they can help you remind yourself of of, of things that have happened in somebody's life and make them feel important, and and that's really cool. Okay, Karima, um, I'm really sorry. I think we're talking about two different things here. Um, follow up has nothing to do with delivering an order. Um, you don't have to follow up after you deliver an order. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're talking about two different things. What I'm talking yeah. about is get on a schedule and, and figure out the campaign is two weeks long. So figure out when are you going to place your order and, um, and make it the same every campaign. So the campaign actually starts on a Wednesday and ends on a Tuesday. I placed my order the very first day of the campaign. So I've already placed my campaign 16 order. It's already gone and it's on its way here. I placed it the very first day of the campaign. And then I place an order every two weeks from that day. Some people place their order maybe the first Monday of the campaign or the second Monday of the campaign or the first Wednesday of the, you know what I mean? You can figure that out and then figure out when you're going to do it. And then every two weeks on that same day, you place an order. And so the follow-ups come mm -hmm. two days, two to three days before you place your order. So if you know that you're going to place your order on Monday, every other week, 
then you might do your follow-ups the Friday before you place your order. Mm -hmm. So it's not about delivering orders. It's about, hey, my order's going in. Is there anything you want that I can order for you? That's what the follow-up is. You gave them a brochure, and now you have to say, was there anything you wanted out of that brochure that I can order for you? That's what the follow-up is. So I hope that makes sense. Um, she says, okay. <laughs> but I hope that makes sense. You don't have to follow up with somebody after you delivered it. Instead, you need to get them another book, right? And maybe you gave it to them when you delivered your last order. But the follow-up is before, you know, to be a really good representative. <clears throat> okay, she says, I got it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. But you guys, also keep in mind I'm old school. And some of the older people on here are also old school. And um, so maybe maybe we're confusing you a little bit. But um, it used to be that we had to we had to place our orders on a certain day. We didn't get to choose. We had a, there was out of that two weeks there was ten different schedule you know dates that you ordered, and every rep was assigned a date. And um, and you and we didn't have online ordering so much, right? So now we have our website. So if you're not actually taking orders if you're not collecting orders and submitting them and then delivering them to your customer then it might not be as important instead you might want to follow up if you're only doing online orders the follow-up then is a text saying hey this brochure you know the first text is going to be welcome to campaign 16 we now have a new brochure you can click here and see the brochure and then three days before the campaign ends the campaign is going to end on monday uh, always the last day of the campaign online is always Monday. So maybe on Friday you might text them and go just a reminder Campaign 16 is ending on Monday. If there's anything you want, please be sure to get in and get your order. Here's my website link Right, so that's a different kind of follow-up because that's just doing it online only But if you're delivering orders, yes, yeah, Sherry, I know you're as old as I am <laughs> older than dirt <laughs> We're related to mud <laughs> If you're delivering orders, then um, then you collect. You know you and, and we do a combination. We do we have a lot of online customers, and we also have customers we deliver to. We have little old ladies mostly that like to have you know that personal touch. But I also want to suggest, as an Avon representative, you should be buying from yourself. Um, we have all kinds of products now: dish soap, laundry soap, clean cleansers. Um, shampoo. These are products you you're using anyway. Why not buy it from you at a discount? Buy it from yourself toothpaste. at a discount. Toothpaste, toothbrushes. <laughs> Rather than going to Walmart to buy it, buy it from you. And so, same thing. Get used to placing your order through AvonNow.com. You place the rep as a rep. You place your orders through your back office at AvonNow.com. Your customers go to your online store, which is you youravon.com forward slash their ID, whatever that your ID is, right? But you should place an order once every two weeks on your online, I mean, on your Avon now for yourself, even if you're not ordering for customers. So I hope that makes sense. Sherry says, I'm much older than you, silly lady. I doubt it. <laughs> you might be as old as Richard. <laughs> so, guys, let me come back. Let me come back. Okay. So now we're back. <laughs> Help me, please. Help you what? Help me, please. I'm sure, I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm sorry. So, um, so now we're back. I hope that made sense. We went a little long. It's a little after seven. Um, next week, we're going to get into more details about following up and, and um, all of that. Today was really more about getting your system set up and, and using your system for your business. Because this Daily 8 this daily eight program, go back and watch that, right? Go back and, and click on the link to your Daily 8 program. And just go to onlinebeautybiz.com and um, look for Daily 8. Or, or you can just go to your Daily 8. Dot com y o u r dash d a i l y dash eight dot com. That's actually the form that you fill out. But on that page, there's a link, and and, um, and join our group because everybody is welcome. Everybody's welcome to be a part of this incentive. We're here to help you grow your business. I don't know what that means. I need to, you know, I um, I'm sorry. Don't know how to help you. Your brother had a heart attack. I'm really sorry, really sorry yeah. for your brother. 
but I'm not sure what you're yeah, asking. I'm not, not quite understanding the question, but yeah. yeah, we're sorry to hear that. I'm sorry about your brother. Yes. So anyway, you guys, thanks for being here with us today. We will be back next Sunday, um, the next Sunday, the 19th, same time, same place. So look for us here. I will put this video on the post um, that we talked about today so you have everything in one place, okay? And all this is on online beauty biz. And if you have questions, like I say, chunk it down. You're starting out small. So go through and break it down bit by bit. You know, take take a section of each one and just, just slowly read through it until you understand it. This is a lot of information here. And it's something that we didn't do the very first week that we were in the business either. It, these, are, these are things, the processes that we've created over over a period of time. So so go through, slowly learn it, think it through and, and see if it makes sense. And, and then if you have questions on that, you can always ask us. Yeah, and on yeah. that note too, I also want to say, our, I'm not saying that our, our system is the best or that it's the only way to do it. Um, but I do suggest if you don't have a system that you use our system mm -hmm. and then you can tweak it yourself. Once you mm -hmm. get going and you find well, what works better for you, then hey, go mm -hmm. for it. But this just will help you get started. Right. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you. Have a great week. Thanks, everyone. Stay cool out there. Summer's here. And we'll see you tomorrow. Karen, the Zoom call is tomorrow. And Sherry, anybody who wants to be on it, our Zoom mm -hmm. call is actually tomorrow night, Monday. Um, 6.30. 6.30 Mountain Time. Um, because we won't, because of COVID, we're still not going to be at the um, restaurant. Yeah. So we'll do a Zoom call. So we hope to see you there. I'll be putting out um, an email about that. Okay. All right. Actually, it was on the email that you got about this. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. See you later. Good night, everyone. Have a great week.